Yo, what's good guys? Welcome to today's video. Um, so basically, before I start the video, I just wanted to say to you lot, like, thanks a lot for all the support on the last one and thanks for always, like, conversating with me even after the video, I, which me basically means just, you, I'll bet a lot of you guys just come on Instagram and then text me and then, you know, send messages and then ask questions and that. It really shows that, like, the video is helpful and because it's help, because the videos that I've made so far are helpful, I've, I've said that all right then i'm gonna might, might as well make the second one in it and i since i already did promise that i'm gonna make the second i'm gonna post the second one really soon so yeah so we're in the second video now hope you enjoyed this one um basically this video is going to be divided into chapters and that so basically for each section i'm going to talk about you're going to be divided into chapters on the video so you can just click on the chapters whichever one you're most interested in just click on it and then go to it and all of that so we're getting into the video hope you enjoy it and then see you in a bit all right all right all right so basically what are you before we start getting into like fonties and that because from the title you are, you lot already know that like this video is talking about like fonties and then things you should know about fonties beforehand so basically um before we start that we, i have to tell you lot like what exactly is university about so that you guys already you know <laughs> You guys have a, like realistic expectations and that because I don't want you guys coming into Fonzie's thinking oh it's gonna be like movies and all of that like bruv you're not gonna be going to parties 20 oh excuse me you're not going to be going to parties 24 7 like every single bloody day of like the day I can't lie like you're gonna at Fonzie's you're gonna work properly and then so universities are not like the movie kind of stuff whereby you get bullying and all of that so yeah so have realistic expectations to keep your expectations a bit like low if you keep it too high then there's more chance of you getting disappointed than that so yeah i just wanted to quickly mention that before we get into the video all right so now to get into the part um the first part i'm going to be talking about is like people did ask questions about like okay how many years are like how many years is ict um and how the years are structured like what semester is what semester blah 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 so basically what i can explain is that ict is divided into our font is divided into like four years so for each year you have two semesters and those in that year so let's say in the first year you have semester one and semester two so it's the second year semester three and semester four and then the third year semester five and semester six so yeah you get the point already so for each semester you're going you're going to do something extremely new that's what I that's what I think anyway. Like for each semester that you go through, it just offers something entirely new, which makes it a bit which makes it a bit more interesting. I can't lie. Because if I'm doing the same thing for an, an entire semester, it just gets boring, isn't it? So for each semester you get to, you get to have a new experience entirely, which makes it more interesting. So yeah. So uh, yeah. Alright, now that you lot know like how the semesters are structured, like so you have two semesters for each year, let's start off with like a bit of more explanation on you know the semesters themselves so first semester what are you going to expect in the first semester so basically for the first semester something i have to mention quickly is that you guys when you guys are joining fonties the first part that you lot do is um basically you guys have to choose like a profile in it so you guys choose either you're going for ict and software engineering ict and business ict and media design ict and technology and then ict and embedded i think it's called embedded but i'm not so sure so bear with me in it but yeah so basically those are the five profiles you have to choose from now at the first semester what i was expecting was that i would just go into ict and software almost immediately but that was not the situation because so basically when i got into the first semester what you're going to be doing is you're going to have the experience of all the five profiles what i mean is in the first semester you're going to be all your courses the five courses you're going to do are the five profiles so the reason i feel that the reason why this is done at fontes is because they want you lot to like have the experience already of like all the profiles so that you guys can already know what you really want to do because imagine if i chose ict and embedded and i have like i have expectations of what ict and embedded should be like but then let's say we just get into that immediately and i can't change my mind and i don't know how it is i don't know how the other profiles are i'm not sure eventually i'm not just going to be sure of what exactly I really like. I'm just stuck with ICT and Embedded. So I feel that it's a good thing that them and let you lot to like, you know, that let us anyway, to like, you know, experience all the five profiles first 
and then you can choose the stuff that you want to do so um something that a lot of you guys also did ask me is like what are the profiles like what kind of programming languages do you do for the profiles if i'm being honest i feel that gradually it shifts like fonties tends to switch it up a bit like for each year because i feel that the current year them and for ict and software engineering like for the first semester anyway they're not doing the same thing that i did so i would tell you what i did but it's just for you to like prep yourself beforehand in it so for ict and software engineering what i did was like c sharp c sharp in terms of c sharp not command line c sharp because there are two different kinds c sharp with windows forms so basically if you lot just search up youtube videos and that like i think this youtube video would help you lot a lot um it's by it's i think oh no wait I've, i'll find a youtube video that has a good example of like um c sharp with windows forms so that was done and then for ict and i think business it's more or less like sql my microsoft access so if you already have good experience with microsoft access and then sql queries and that Bro, you have you have you have a hop, upper ah, you have an upper hand already. What the fudge was that? You have an upper hand already. So you have like M my uh, sorry SQL and then also R. So then for ICTM media design, you lot are going to be working on like HTML and CSS. So you have to know your HTML, CSS, JavaScript. You have to. You guys should also search up search up stuff called wireframes and then mockups and that. Because uh, mockups and wireframes are like for building websites. So ICTM media design is mainly surrounded around like building websites and then trying to create like good user experiences and that that kind of stuff then ict and technology yeah this is the profile that i'm quite not sure what exactly it is but for the first semester you lot are going to be doing stuff related to like networking and that by networking what i mean is like trying to ping ip addresses by using um you know like virtual machines and that. virtual machines like linux linux was one of the virtual machines that we used and then in the semester you'll be learning something called like git so git is helps you know developers or like whatever developers work together on like one project so you, yeah you lot just search up what git is and then it will be quite helpful to know this beforehand like if you know this if you know all these things beforehand then you have like a kind of an upper hand already at the first semester because before i get in because I did mention like the first and my first video that like if you fail the first semester you would have to redo everything again so i feel that this upper hand or this video should give you guys the opportunity to like learn before before you get into fonties and then reduce the chance of you guys failing and then having to redo the whole semester again you know what i mean um so the next one that i think i haven't mentioned is ict and embedded ict and embedded it deals with mainly like programming this thing called an arduino so like programming an, ele an electronic device so an arduino for you to program this what you should learn is like c plus plus c plus plus and arduinos that's kind of what it's going to be like so that's the kind of programming that you're going to do i'm not sure if them and still are going to use arduinos like the um i don't know what's called like there's a different thing apart from bread buds that i used but i'm not sure if them and like switch things up so it's either a breadboard or i'll put i think if i can find the image i'll put it like right here what it looks like but pretty much it's a breadboard or this thing so yeah so uh i think that's all the courses for the first semester in it so just a quick run through ictn software c sharp windows forms ictn media design html css javascript then ictn technology um that's mainly networking pinging ip addresses and that and then get um a Bray heck um ictm embedded ictm embedded is like c plus plus arduino and then oh did i forget something I think ICT and business, have I mentioned that? ICT and business, my, Microsoft Access, SQL, and then R. Yep. All right, all right, all right. So the second semester, what does the second semester offer? What do you, what can you expect from the second semester? So for this semester, this is where you actually get, this is where you have to choose which exact profile you really want to do because after the first semester you already have a good idea what all the profiles are like now in your second semester you choose the main profile you want to go for and then you get more advanced into it so 
you really really like focus on that profile alone that's one thing i love about fontis is that they, them and don't bother about like adding physics or like chemistry or any of those other like courses in ict because i don't get you know I, I, that not throwing any shade on like universities like universities that do this but i don't get it when universities make people who are doing like ict do physics like as a course like there's no correlation because but yeah it is what it is so the second semester enough waffling the second semester is more or less like you get more advanced in the course that you're trying to do in it so let's say you choose ICT and software engineering which i did choose basically here i did a bit i went deeper into like c sharp i went deeper into okay how to manage a project and see like how to make a project like you know how to manage a project with c sharp like no not how to manage a project with c sharp we had a project and then we started going through like what's the development cycle of making a project with c with c sharp so basically in this semester you have your first experience of like having a project manager a project manager being your coach just like your teacher this time around so he would like you know check up on you about what you're doing all of that so you have i think you you get to do a group project but i'm not sure if the second semester you have to do like a individual project or a personal project per se so pretty much the projects for each semester when you get from semester two to like semester five you sorry not semester five semester four you get like two projects to do you have your individual project and then your group project so in semester two i'm not 100 percent sure if you have to do an individual project but what i'm sure about is that this semester you go more advanced in whatever you whatever profile you picked and then um you get to have your first experience about like how real development cycles go how real projects go in that and then this is the first time you're going to apply the git part of your like lessons and that so you apply real git you work with your group mates for the first time and all of that